what is going on guys so as promised i'm going to test at&t here at the park and this is on my boost infinite line so let's go ahead and get it started with a 77 ping 10 jitter and i also brought my at&t postpaid line which is on starter unlimited we will go ahead and test that too actually we need to stop the test here because my vpn turned on so let's get that turned off for one hour all right let's go back let's see if I can find an AT&T server should have been more prepared AT&T wireless all right let's hit go oh fail I guess why is it failing so much maybe this server is no good I hate to do Chicago but Something's not right with the line here. Hold on. Let me close it out. Come back in. Alright, let's go ahead and try it now. Okay, I want the AT&T server. Do you not understand? Alright, okay. Well, I guess we can't test with the AT&T server. I guess let's do Miami University. I don't know why the AT&T servers aren't working. But anyway, we got an 80 ping and one jitter. Now oh, the jitter's low. Pretty low loaded pings here. So let's see. We're going to get about 83.7 on the down. 501 loaded ping is not bad. And we'll get probably about 5 up. Yep, we're going to get 5.53 up with 1787 loaded ping. Let's go ahead and switch over to the iPhone 14 Pro here on AT&T Postpaid. Turn the brightness a little. Then I'll have to go and turn off my VPN here. I think it's on 1.1.1. On, turn off one hour okay so now that that's turned off let's go ahead and run the speed test on here all right so we got 64 ping and 7 jitter but you can see we are picking up 5g plus now technically the s21 should get it because it has in 77 support i am surprised i didn't see it i didn't see the icon Oh, we got 299 down. That's very good. And we're getting about 10 on the up here, which isn't bad at all. 831 loaded ping on the download. It's not bad. And 9.44 on the upload with 565 loaded ping. So that's all I wanted to show. And I promise I'd do AT&T. So the next video will be Verizon. And I will see you guys in the next one.